We are at the Lee Valley Athletic Centre. We have the whole track to ourselves and today's plan is to run 5k as fast as I can and see what time I can get. I set myself a challenge of trying to improve my 5k PB. Uh, I set it back in August, I think it was, and then um, I never actually got around to doing it or starting it until late September, early October. The reason for doing this was mainly just to see if I can improve my 5k time out of interest. So I have no idea where I'm at in terms of 5k speed. I've been doing lots of base work recently, so my endurance is good but I've been doing zero speed work. So today is all about aligning the sand and then over the next eight weeks, I'm gonna be trying to train specifically towards improving my 5K. I'm gonna be sharing those workouts with you and we're gonna document the journey from today to eight weeks time when hopefully I will break the uh, 5K PB. It's just important to have something to work towards to make those really hard sessions um, you can visualize light at the end of the tunnel so to speak or something to strive towards rather than just endlessly training for for nothing which has pretty much been the theme of this year with races being cancelled at least i know with setting myself a 5k pb it, no no matter what happens i can go and do that 5k i haven't got to rely on anyone else there's there's no chance of it being cancelled so it's just something for me to work towards by myself and for myself Yeah, so the conditions of my first attempt were pretty good. Um, it was getting towards autumn, winter, so there was a lot of uh, wind, especially down the back straight. Didn't really have too much of an issue. I had someone on the bike as well, helping me block a little bit of that wind. Warm up wise, I spent a long time warming up. I've done quite a lot of races in the past where I've kind of neglected the warm up a little bit. And then you're, you know, on that short, sharp stuff, you're going straight up into max heart rate zone. So really important to warm up. Um, I did, 2K of easy jogging, just to get myself moving a little bit, get the heart rate up, and then I did some drills, so some high knees, some hill flicks, a few strides, um, some dynamic stretching exercises. Use the Ferragun as well, just to kind of massage the legs, get the blood into all of those areas that are gonna be working. Then I did one 400 at target pace, just to get used to the feel of running at that speed, and then went for it. start my first 5k attempt um, feeling all right a little bit you know feel like I'm a bit nervous actually as if I'm doing a race but that's what we're that's what we're trying to simulate so yeah I'm pleased to be here and uh, yeah let's get on with it three two one go
I know a lot of other people are doing this as well, so recently Joe Skipper and Lionel Sanders have been doing the same thing. They've seen some massive improvements on their times, which has sort of motivated me to do this even more. I think one of the most important things I've been learning recently about the 5K is all of the fastest times in the world, when you look at their, their pacing strategy, they actually negative split. Um, whereas all of my 5Ks that I've been doing um, previously, I've been going out way too quick and then dying in the last 2K. So I've been really trying to practice on holding back in the first two kilometers, building that third kilometer, and then just leaving everything out there for the last two. Um, so my tip would be, don't go out too fast, try to negative split if you can, and um, resist that temptation to cook yourself too early. Okay, so just finished my first attempt at 5K. Very happy with a PB of 15.54. Um, hurt like hell. Got to 3K thinking that this was you know, easy. I could uh, go for 15.45 and then all of a sudden it started to really bite. Um, just hanging on for the last last three laps, I think. I, yeah, couldn't do any maths in my head. Didn't know how many laps I had left. But yeah, really pleased with that. That's PB. Yeah, really looking forward to see how fast I can go with eight weeks of specific training. I can now use that pace uh, to set the training sessions that I'm going to be doing. So everything will be working off that sort of 310 to 305 per kilometre pace. Um, not a lot of mileage, looking at around 30 to 40 miles a week at the moment. I might up that a little bit, but we're very much focused on intensity, so the volume won't be that high. So yeah, when I first set myself a target of um, improving my 5K, I thought that maybe at the end of the process I would be getting towards a sub 16, but actually it turns out I'm a lot fitter than I thought I was, and my starting time was a sub 16. So, so I'm starting off the quickest I've been, um, but I want to try and improve that by quite a lot. So yeah, in terms of fueling for a 5K, um, obviously you won't be taking on any nutrition during the 5K effort. What are you doing? Don't stop! No! Hurry up! But it kind of comes down to what you eat before and hydration before, and then of course recovery afterwards leading into your next training sessions. So tips would be to make sure that you have um, adequately fueled probably around two to three hours before the, the 5K. You don't want anything too heavy. So for me, I just have my normal small bowl of porridge, um, half a banana and some electrolyte drink. And then leading into the, the actual effort, probably just sipping on some water with a little bit of electrolyte. And then 20 minutes before, I will have some um, optimum nutrition BCAAs. So this is my favorite stuff, BCAA Train and Sustain. Um, it's got some really good 
uh, branch chain amino acids in there. It's also got some stuff for immunity. Uh, so some vitamin C, um, magnesium, sodium chlorine. Pretty much take this on all of my drinks when I'm doing a long session, just a little bit in each. I feel it helps with that feeling of muscle breakdown towards the end of a really long workout as well. So good stuff. Nothing throughout the attempt, of course. And then afterwards, straight on to some recovery. So normally some whey protein for me and some carbs, normally in the form of a banana or something like that. I haven't seen some of the other people's times um, running low 15s and then Lionel ran under 15. I'd like to set myself an ambitious target of getting a very low 15, but I'll be pleased with anything under 15, 30, to be honest, because you know, that's, that's already like 30 seconds off in an eight week period. So my plan for the next eight weeks is two track workouts per week. I always do hill reps every week as well and I've been keeping that going. One long run each week, not super long at the moment, um, certainly nowhere near the sort of distance that I would be doing for an Ironman. And then everything else is just really easy jogging, um, not really concentrating or pace on time, just getting some miles in the legs. So this type of training is obviously very different to the type of training that we normally do for ultra long distance and long distance triathlon. It's at the complete other end of the spectrum um, it's still an endurance event, it's very much an endurance event, but there's a lot of speed in there as well. So I'm used to running a, a pace of around 3.30 per kilometre for long distances. So my marathon pace is around that. However, once we get closer towards like 3.15 and 3 minutes, it's totally unnatural for me to run that speed. I almost feel like my legs don't really want to go that fast. Um, and then the short course triathletes who are ultra quick, they, they run 2.45, maybe three, three minutes per kilometre off the bike. So triathlon covers a huge range, but where I'm geared towards, I'm, I'm less good at running those really uh, fast paces. So this for me is just a little bit of a um, experiment to see what I can do and a little bit of fun to get me through the winter months. So thanks very much for watching this first video. Hope you enjoyed the content and tune in for the next few weeks. I will be tracking my progress and recording some of the sessions building up to that final attempt in about eight weeks time. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.